Thank you for joining us today. The Adventure family is heading to the state of Michigan in the beautiful town of Three Rivers, only two and a half hours from Chicago. So we jumped on the truck and headed to Blue Canoe Cottages, located in the town of Three Rivers, Michigan. This is the creek that splits the campground in half. We are heading towards the front of the campground. It houses five cottages, the beach, lake, the dock, and the volleyball pit. Michigan is known for clear water. I stuck my two feet in the water and I could see right through there crystal clear. Now we're heading all the way to the front of the campground. Sits the beach area, also the volleyball pit. There's a floating dock about 80 feet from the shore so you could swim out to the dock, come out, have some sun, or take pictures of the beautiful scenery. There's kayaks, canoes, and rowboats, so you could push a man out right on the beach and mount and take the whole family with you. Now we are heading towards the back of the campground. It houses three cottages, two lakeside cottages, and a big cottage. It also has a basketball court and the playground. On our way back to the campground, we found so many animals, from turtles to frogs to even snakes. So we released them all right on the creek.
We are now on the back of the campground. We're staying in one of the cottages here. There's a basketball court, a playground, and the boathouse as well. You can park right on the side of the cottage. The parking is about 60 feet away. There's also little carts that you can take to help you put all your stuff to bring it back to the cottages. We stayed at the Cannonball Cottage. It's a three day minimum stay. It's got three bedrooms, one bathroom, kitchen, refrigerator, AC heater, TV, Wi Fi, and smart TV. It was about 490 for all three days included. Quick reminder bring water. The water here in Lakeside Cottages is well water. It smells like sulfur, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's got a little smell of egg and I'm sure nobody wants to drink that. So please remember, bring bottled water. Here's the kitchen. It has a microwave, toaster, and a coffee maker, refrigerator, sink, and stove. It has an oven as well. So we bought some pizzas and we had breakfast as we watched the sun rise on the beautiful lake. So we headed to beautiful downtown Three Rivers with its beautiful 18th century yeah. downtown buildings and Victorian home and it almost looks as if we took a step back in time. There in its neon light sits the Riviera Theater, a 1920s theater. It was beautiful for its time, which rivaled the ones found in Chicago and Detroit. It's also a restaurant which has had some of the best pizzas, desserts, sandwiches, and drinks in the area. Our next stop, the Fisher Lake Inn, the best restaurant in Three Rivers. They specialize in lobster, and steak. They also have a beautiful patio which you can eat and drink as well as you look and marvel at how clear the beautiful lake really is. We ate inside. There's still a beautiful view of the lake. I had a prime rib and my grandma had the half rack of ribs. And of course, the kids had to have their desserts. Here's a look of Clear Lake from the restaurant's dock. It was so clear, I could not believe it. Here's a look of the restaurant from the waterfront side. So our last day here, we managed to find a trail. It's right behind the boathouse. It's lined with nothing but electrical poles, so the road will always have to be clear and it's not private mm -hmm. since it belongs to the city. We went down there and found many animals, like this chickmunk. We found deer. This is the tiniest bird I have ever recorded. It is so small, it's literally the size of the flower. I'm gonna give you an example right now to show you how big the flower is compared to my hand. Our last night we grabbed some s'mores. It was so dark, you could see every star and you couldn't see two feet in front of you. Come join us in our next adventure and see what state, city, and town we will end up next in this beautiful country we call home.